Hello everyone, it's Katie, and I am doing something a little crazy. Um, I had a hankering for a little spa night tonight, so um, I made a face mask. It looks like somebody puked on my face. Mm hmm I can't believe I'm, I might not put this on there, but anyway. Um, my theme for tonight... <laughs> I don't know why I have to have a theme tonight, but it just seems uh, to make it go easier, um, is uh, self-care. What am I doing for self-care? So, um, I and also, um, I wanted to talk a lot about a mental uh, challenge that I'm going through. Um, so, that's why um, I have the face mask on. And I'll uh, share my recipe if anybody wants it. So... Um, I've been going through some mental things this week. Um, it kind of started yesterday when I went up to see my family. Um, I, sorry, got something on me. Um, I, I can't talk and see, or take myself seriously with this, but anyway. Um, basically what happened was I just, I, I don't feel restriction right now. I'm seven months out. Um, I can eat anything and everything. And yesterday there was this plate of, um, peanut butter cookies with the chocolate chips on the top and it was staring at me and cookies are my downfall. Homemade cookies. I can pass up, um, store-bought cookies, no problem. But, um, the first couple of hours I was okay. And then I made the mistake of eating one and I, throughout the night, probably had about 16 cookies and it was it was just emotionally taxing on me because I thought that I, I was stronger than that and I'm not. Um, I have a food addiction and it's serious and it, I'm going to live with it for the rest of my life. So tonight I wanted to document what I'm going to do and when I feel like this. So, um, it's part of my blog and it, and I hope to come back and reference it when I'm feeling out of control and so I thought maybe it might help other people too. So first of all, I wanted to kind of talk about what HUD hunger is. Um, basically, it's not the physiological hunger of your body. Like you, when you get hungry, that is not head hunger. That is a physiological sign that your body needs nourishment. Head hunger is when you are craving something and it doesn't have anything to do with feeding your body. It has everything to do with feeding something else that's going on in your life. And so for me, that's usually fill in the blank. Like it's emotional eating. So when I'm hungry, happy, or when I'm hungry, when I'm happy, bored, lonely, frustrated, anything. Food used to be my go-to and now it's not. So um, yesterday I slipped back into my old habits of things. So, and then also today too, um, I thought I'd start out fresh, um, no big deal, but, um, I came home after work today and I had like eight strips of bacon and 20 shrimp. No problem. Ate them in five minutes and it freaked me out. Um, I didn't feel full. I was doing it so that I could split the meal so that I could take some to lunch to work tomorrow. Ate the whole thing. And I didn't feel the full sign, nothing. So then I freaked out. And I was an emotional wreck. And I called some friends. And I just... Anyway, so that's going to be my list tonight. Like, what do I do when I have head hunger? And how can I solve it? Because I'm getting out of my funk now. I'm feeling so much better. But it took a while. So, <laughs> uh, self-care and how to get out of head hunger. That's kind of the topic of the night. So, I made a little list. I'm just going to run down it. I'm going to try to make this really quick because this has to dry and I have to take it off. So, um, it's starting to dry already. So, if I start talking like this, that's why. It really does look gross. It's just avocado, though. It's really not puke. So, okay. Um, the first thing I... I um, well, these aren't in any particular order, but it's things that I do now or that I will do. I've made this list so that in the future when this happens, I can revert, when I, I can 
review this and come back to it. And I'll probably add more to it as, as it goes on. So um, they're not in any particular order, but number one is I'll phone a friend or five. It's, it really helped me today. I talked with um, a couple of my closest friends, and I just want to say thank you. You guys know who you are. And they really talked me off my ledge and made me gain more perspective about why I'm here and what I'm doing. But at, at this point, it's more of the mental game instead of the actual stomach being as small as it used to be. So um, they were there to remind me that I'm doing okay and that I've come a long ways. Um, so I love you guys. Thank you. Um, and then the next thing is I'm a journaler. If you are a journaler, I would recommend journaling your thoughts and your feelings, why you're feeling this way, why I'm, why I'm going down this road today. Um, a lot of things happened yesterday with my family that, um, I, I just brought back some, some things I need to deal with. So, um, which brings me to my next one is cry. It's okay to cry and it's okay to let it all out. Just get it out. So, and sometimes I do a bunch of these at once. So like crying on the phone with a friend or journaling and crying or whatever. Um, and then four, I went shopping or, um, and I actually got, um, some things for the spa night tonight, which is my next thing. Um, have a spa night, take care of yourself, pamper yourself. Um, this avocado mask is one avocado, um, one egg white, um, a teaspoon of almond extract and oats mixed up. That's it. I got it offline. Um, and it's supposed to just sit for until it gets dry and then you wipe it off. But right after this, I'm going to go take a bath too because that's also something I really enjoy. Um, and I'm, um, the next thing I thought was to try on my fat pants or something that means something to you from the journey's, from the journey's start. So, um, like some sort of outfit or something that reminds me of how far I've come. Um, Exercise. Today I did not want to exercise. Um, I was just in such a frump. And so I did anyway. And it really made my outlook better. I didn't do very well on my exercise, to be perfectly honest. My mind was not in the game and I didn't go as hard as I could. But at least I went out and did something. And something is better than nothing. Um, also, throw the trigger food out. Like, I went to the store and I bought these things. Um, they're Laura, bar, Laura bars. I don't know how to say them, but I thought, oh, it'd be perfect for snack, whatever. Um, no, they are a trigger food. Any type of bar or anything, like I can just eat like three or four of them, no problem. But at 190 calories each, that's not okay for me right now. Um, and they do have a lot of sugar in them too. So anyway, I'm uh, going to give them away. And that brings me to the next thing is I need to start planning a little better as well. Um, when I went to the store, the reason why I got those bars was because, number one, I was hungry, which is a huge no-no. And number two, I didn't have a list. And usually I'm really, like, on it with a list. So I need to take more time out to just plan ahead. Um, also, if you're into Overeaters Anonymous or Weight Watchers, I I have gone through all of those things. Um I called my sponsor. Um, if you don't do that, that's cool. But if you're interested in Overeaters Anonymous, um, I can help you with a link to try to find um, a place that would work for you. They have them all over the country. Um, and I also need to remember to give myself some grace. We're going to mess up. We're humans. Um, I'm going to have a shitty day. I'm going to eat 16 cookies sometimes. But I think the point that is important to remember is I'm going to keep going. Like, even when I think I'm not, I am. And I think that's important to remember because um, that's when I panic because I revert back to my old ways and I just don't want to go there anymore. Like, it's a scary place back back in the past. And so... Um, I, I just need to remember to, to give myself some grace and um, it's okay to make mistakes. It's just 
you just got to pick your, I just got to pick myself back up. And, um, I was talking with one of my good friends today and, um, she said, like, you don't have to start tomorrow. You can also just start now. So I made that moment my Monday and I, I like that moment, make that moment my Monday. Like, um, when I was dieting way back in the past, I'd be like, Oh, I messed up this week. So screw it. I'll start again on Monday or, Oh man, I just, I'm not kickstarting this. I'll exercise. I'll start on Monday. But I liked that I'm, I chose tonight to make that moment my Monday. I didn't wait until the next day. I fixed it this evening. Um, so I made my moment my Monday. Um, it just so happened that today is Monday, but that's beside the point. Like I can make any moment my Monday. I can turn anything around at any given time. I guess that's my, my point. Um, uh, let's see. Um, also, um, I am going to start having some non calorie treats around. One is, um, I might've mentioned it before. I just like sparkling water. I haven't put it in a wine glass, but when I go upstairs to my bath, I like to do a wine glass with a lemon and a lime. And the bubbles, I just take it really slow. If you can't do bubbles, I would recommend like a flavored infused water. You could do a fruit influ infused water, or I also love cucumber, lime, and lemon. It's like a spa water. Or any anything of your choice, like crystal light or um, something like, or flavored tea, whatever. Um, sugar-free if you're into that stuff. If you're not, then I like the natural route with just fruit infused or fruit and vegetable infused. Um, so those are kind of my, my tricks that I'm doing to get me through this. Um, I think I said exercise. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Um, yeah. So I guess that's all for me today. Oh, I guess you probably want my stats too. Um, I'm at 395 today, so I lost a point four. Anyway, um, I'm at 101 pounds down from my surgery weight and 135 pounds down from my highest weight. Um, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. Um, if you would like to tell me what you do um, to combat hunger, I'll probably make a part two and put it um, put it in it as well. Um, I hope. This is going to help me down the road. I also just appreciate everybody who gave me a shout out on Facebook for my video last week. You guys really floored me and just rocked my world. So I didn't expect that at all. Anyway, my face is drying now. I've got to go. Um, just take care of yourselves this week, I guess. Self-care is important, as is knowing when the, the mental part is happening and what to do about it. I hope this helps. Anyway, I hope it definitely helps me. So, all right. Love you guys. Bye. You're better than the best. I'm lucky just to linger in.